Welcome back to the Crown of the Ivory King. Let's take another crack at this dude. I think it's going to take a lot of cracks. I didn't have stamina to dodge. That's a terrible beginning. Oh, what the hell? I thought I took some Estus. How did I? Did I just get hit by something and didn't even realize it? Oh, shit. Whew. This actually is not going too bad so far. I started to attack him, and then I realized, wait, I need to go heal. And then, in attempting to do so, I got stabbed in the back, when I was like, two enemies away from actually being able to fight the big guy. Let's get my max health back up. That was awesome. Close up the gates! Now's the time, you jackasses! Jesus. Can I please have some time alone?
Okay, not bad. Six Estes. Six Estes left. Last gate is still not closed for some reason. Somebody's gonna have to close that, like, really, really quickly. Please? Somebody? Look at him. The excitement's over there. The burning dude. You know, the guy on fire coming through the gate from hell. Well, we're already kind of in hell. I guess it's the gate from the lower reaches of hell. That is happening much earlier than I would like. Oh shit, I thought he was going for the other guy. Fuck. I need to heal. I need to heal. Ah! I dodged too early. You know, I almost think I actually don't want those other dudes as distractions, because they actually confuse me more. Because then I'm not always certain whether the main dude is coming for me or going for one of them. And even if they're going for one of them, sometimes you can get hit in the crossfire. So it's kind of annoying, actually. In other words, I want them to all die. Oh yeah, I forgot to switch my ring. I need to get out of here. Too many people. Oh, Jesus. It's way too many people. Yeah, now you want to close up the gates. Thank you. I, ca I can't attack anybody. This is pretty much already a lost cause.
This is really bad. Jesus. That was just terrible. Alright, let's put on my floofy ring. Despair, indeed. Alright, now, I I'm just gonna stand away. Just die, please. G go die, come on, go die. There you go. You need to save us all some time and just jump into the lava. Here we go. Oh, man. <laughs> I knew to wait, but I waited too long. Like, I was literally pressing it when that happened. Damn it. Give me some fuck. Jesus. Give me some time to heal, asshole. I stunned him. It ends! It ends! I didn't know that. Okay. It ends here? Oh yeah! Fuck yeah! Soul of the Ivory King, praise the motherfucking sun! Despair. You know, now I disagree. Why be hating when you can relate and hurrah for victory and short happiness ahead. Is this what happiness looks like? A thingy? A thingy on the ground? What is this? Examine. And by examine it means use, of course. Because Dark Souls likes to have prompts that don't say what they actually mean.
Did I get the crown? Like, I wasn't even paying attention. I got, I got a soul. Yeah, there it is. The soul of the Ivory King. But I don't actually have his helmet, do I? Crown of the Sunken King, Crown of the Old Iron King. No? Oh, there it is. Crown of the Ivory King, that was apparently an item. A faint heat lingers in the ancient crown. That's what it said about the other ones, I think. Try jumping. No thanks. Pyromancy. <laughs> uh, oh my god. This environment is so cool looking. There's the crown of the Ivory King. Crown of the Ivory King who once ruled this land. Far to the north, a king built a great cathedral to appease the raging flame. But when he sensed the degradation of his soul, he left without a word, leaving everything to Alsana, who had, unbeknownst, found a place at his side. But these were events of long ago, and today, no one even remembers the king's name. Ah. Oh, too bright. There we go. Damn, my eyes are beautiful. And look at that crown. Okay, I guess the crown's kind of pretty, too. Beam me up. See what Alsana has to say. You've granted thy one wish. Now I have no regrets. I was born amidst the dark. Long ago, in the depths of the abyss. My father perished. The dark shattered into tiny pieces, one of which was me. How frightful I was. A frail thing, born from but a splinter of dark. I felt that I might simply disappear. The incarnation of my father's fears. I saw that the king of this land was strong. I sought him only to sustain myself, to smother my fears. Now I realize that he may have known all along. I was born of fear, and my lord provided comfort. And 
and so here I remain, heiress to my lord's wishes, watching over chaos. Until the end of time. Well, that's a sad tale. The nights of a lame voice were swept. So, I wonder if I can do something now that I have all the crowns. You know, do they unlock something? I don't even know why I was seeking the crowns in the first place, to be honest. Uh, at least, when it comes to, uh, like, some sort of in story reason for why I would be trying to get the crowns. I don't know. I mean, the reason I personally try to get the crowns is because I wanted to fight new interesting enemies and go to different places, but, you know, the reason my character wanted the crowns, I have no idea. So I might have to look that up to see if there's maybe something more I can do. What happens if I go down here now? Everybody's gone? Yeah, everybody's gone. What if I fall down there, without going through the fog? That's a really bad idea, considering I have 332,000 souls on me. I saw messages over there, but they disappeared. Let's go back to Majula. Majula Oblongata. Okay, um... Stamina's good. Stamina's always good. I don't want to spend all my souls, I want to save some of them for buying weapons and items crafted from the souls of the bosses I've killed. Although I've only killed two bosses. I guess I'll put a little bit into dexterity. question remains. Well, aside from, you know, looking it up online, I suppose, to see whether I can do something special now that I have all the three crowns, but aside from that, the question remains, do I go for the third boss in the really fucking annoying place? Well... I'm going to send a probe. And that probe is going to be in this... in the shape of myself, because it is going to be me. I am going to be the probe. And the point of this probe is to figure out whether it is plausible to be able to run straight to the boss. Ignoring all of the enemies, I'm pretty sure it's a terrible idea. And I'm going to get mobbed by reindeer monsters. But if I can get there. If it works. Then I guess it'll be worth it to go for the boss bosses. I don't know. I kind of want to go for them. I kind of don't. Honestly, this place annoys me. But yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to try running straight there. Not fighting a single damn thing.
It's about to begin. Where's the first one? Nothing so far? Why have there been... <laughs> Zombies coming after me, but why have there been no reindeer? I just had an idea, but let me test it a little bit more before I say anything. Nope, they're still here. I was thinking maybe because I'm wearing the crown, they wouldn't come after me. It is obviously not the case. Oh shit, hi. Ooh, arrows. I'm almost there. I know I'm almost there. Go. Okay, so it is actually plausible to run there. They're still coming, aren't they? Yep. All right, go. Go. Oh shit, two attacks, alright. I was better at dodging you before. I should have switched out my, uh, my helmet too. I didn't really have time though. doing that too. I had the same problem with the original dude. I just did it again! Waited too long, waited too short, waited too long, waited too short. Damn it. Need to be further away. Okay, waited just perfect.
Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Well, now I know it's possible. I'm willing to fight you now that I know I can run to you. Even if the run is annoying, it's not as annoying as trying to fight those damn things and then getting there and having one Estus left. So, I'll take it. But that will have to wait for another day. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.